Yay, more flesh walls. Fleshy. It is my fleshy, and it shall be mine, and it shall be my fleshy. Hold up, what is this? That is a window. Um, at least that there's two broken ones left. Yeah, there's one. Okay, and the last one is right there. Yeah, of course that doesn't solve it. I do have to replace some of them, apparently. I thought that was an item. That's a flashing light. Um... Hold on, I think we need to... I think we need to position them all around the center. I think that's what you have to do. If I am remembering correctly... Yeah, you are. Hopefully. Yeah, we need to place two more. I hope I, I hope I hope I'm doing this right. We don't want to be stuck here for too long. Cause that wouldn't be very fun. You know what wouldn't really be fun? Being stuck here too long. Being stuck in the middle of you. <laughs> Oh, you really want to know unfun? Stuck in an elevator with a guy who's constantly farting. That would probably be you, Tim. No, I've been stuck in an elevator. I can tell you from personal experience, you do not want to be in there with a guy who probably possibly weighs about 400 pounds and is constantly ripping them. It's like a gas chamber. It is a gas chamber. Ugh. Where did the satellite go? Oh great, where did it float off to? Oh, hello. I want that, whatever it is. Small medipack, good. Now can we please find the thing, please? Oh, there it is.
You should have a clear shot from ADS Cannon 48. Get to the cannon and blow it out into space. Well, at least we don't have to deal with something big. Ah, oh, shit. Right? Yeah. It's like in Dead Space 2, at least, at least we don't have to go through the... I was just thinking that. I don't remember what he said. All I know is it was something like, well, at least we don't have... Something like, well, at least we don't have to go through the medical deck again. And then and then it's like the elevator or whatever they were on breaks down, and it's like, error, shutting down. Welcome to the medical deck. And then Isaac's like, crap. Man, that was just too perfect. Because they did not like the medical bay. You know what else I don't like? Super Necromorphs. I wonder what Dead Space 3 is like. It's it's like Lost Planet, believe me. I've seen the demos. Is it good? It looks really good, yeah. A lot of people are like, oh no, they sold out. It looks like Lost Planet. Trollolo, but I think it looks really good. Yeah, Lost Planet 1, I couldn't even play because it was just like all I could see was just snow. Lost Planet. Lost Planet 1 is really hard to me. I don't know. I, I couldn't beat that game on anything above easy. Mostly because your energy stuff is constantly running out. And on, like, even medium or normal or whatever, it goes down so fast, and you take so much damage, which makes even more of it go down to heal you. Exactly. I mean, sure, I can understand. Pretty much, I couldn't beat the time limit on anything above easy. Did that just, like, open when I was, like, five feet away from it? That was weird. Well then, it's about time for our second boss fight. I want to pick this up before we do this. Not that it will aid us any during this fight, but yeah. Time to fight this giant hideous thing. I think... Uh... It does that look like someone uh, in the White House? Michelle Obama? Ah, yeah, it does. You're right, the similarities are striking. Oh, man, you won't believe it. You know, his so-called inauguration is coming soon. Well, guess what? During his inauguration, he's gonna have this... He's gonna be behind this three-inch shatterproof glass. Daniel. 
Studios on USG Ishimura. Come in. Do not open these skates high. USM Balance. Kendra Daniels on USG Ishimura. Come in. Do not open the escape pod. Damn it! Stop! Actually, a hey, um, spirit, silence for a little bit, okay? All right. 